Do you ever feel yourself just sitting there all day doing work, um, busy day studying, or in the office? Obviously students or staff. Well, <clears throat> from sitting there all day or maybe walking all day, depending on what you're doing, you get really sore backs, you get really crunched in. So what we're gonna do is show you a couple of exercises just to open up the hips. And if we can open up the hips, we can alleviate a lot of pain in our lower back or through our front area of the body as well. So we're gonna look at three, maybe four stretches, see how we get on with the video. And um, very simple to do at home. All you need is stairs or a chair or a table for one or two of the stretches. First one we're gonna look at is how we can open up our hip joint, which is back here in terms of our glutes, should I say, so our glutes are back here and how we can open these up. Generally because we sit, <clears throat> most people if we sit, we're straight down or we let our legs open up. If we let our legs open up, all this area here can get really tight. So that glute complex, complex or our IT band, which runs down the side of our leg, that get really tight. And inside our glute, you've got a muscle called your piriformis. And again, that can impinge on or nip on kind of our nerve that sits around there as well. So to open this part up, we're gonna do a, um, very much like a pigeon stretch to start with. So if we can, it's here, hand on our knee, hand on our foot. That leg behind us straight, it's like knee bend, which is fine. But we're gonna keep this tall, and then from here, we're just gonna lean forward. And what we'll find is by leaning forward, we'll feel a stretch down this area of the body. Okay, and that's just really opening up our, our uh, hip and our glute. If we don't find the stretch there, we're gonna sink our hip down more. So we're gonna push that glute down, that hip down, and then we're gonna lean forward. Try not to just bend over. So it's really trying to force our chest down and we hold. 10 seconds, 15 seconds, or increase to 20 seconds. So again, <clears throat> do that on the other side as well. If we don't have anything to put our leg on, then fine, we can use stairs and just ride yourself up the staircase. Or well, the other one is we can go into figure four stretch. <clears throat> so you can do this at the end of a chair, so just sitting down. So again, same principle, try and square off our hips. Leg on, so our foot on our knee. <clears throat> and a knee coming across and we'll open up the hips that way. And again, all we're gonna do is from there, keep all this straight and then just lean forward. Okay, so we've got to make sure that's staying down and don't let it come in if we can avoid it. So push that down and lean forward. And you'll find that in that glute area behind us. Okay? If we find them okay, <clears throat> so a pigeon stretch. Uh, so on the floor, like why that my individuals do this far greater than me. And then all we're gonna do is try and get that glute to the floor as best we can, hold, and then again just stretch forward. Okay, and then up and down. So very much depending on what your body's allowing you to do. Next one is look at down the front. So if we've opened up this, depending on what we've been doing, and again, if we have been sitting a lot, all this front area can get kind of enclosed in. So we're gonna try and open up our hip flexor and into our quadricep muscle. So this is this area, our quad, and our hip flexor runs up from kind of the top of the quad area right up to about the belly button area. That's our hip flexor area. So it sits underneath our abdominal wall. So, <clears throat> very easy one. Again, hold on to them for support, depending on how stable you are. Feet or our legs, shoulder width apart. So if we're here, try not to have everything in one line square off so we've got a bit of distance. So from there, we're gonna keep all this straight, stacked in, and then we're gonna push our hips forward whilst trying to maintain that kind of upright position. So what we don't wanna do is just come across with it, because we're gonna feel, we're going to open up and almost like banana back a little bit, just so we can feel that stretch down. If we find that we don't feel it, further forward and then stretch up. If we find we still don't feel you're not comfortable in this position going forward, what we can do is raise our leg just on the back. And again, same principle. So it can be a stair at home or you can put it on the couch so you can raise your leg higher. You can go further out with your knee to make it more comfortable or if we're feeling flexible, 
then push your knee further back or bring this further up. And what we're going to go from there is the same principle as pushing forward and then we'll even back a little bit. And we'll feel the stretch just up the front of our body. Okay. That's kind of a few main ones for the front and the glute. And ones that we did a few weeks ago was a rotational one, so like the crucifix where Lucy and Kieran doing those stretches. Give them a try, two or three sets, 10 seconds minimum, try and go up to about 30 seconds. Enjoy.